Oh, hello. Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today, from new presentation of cooking with timed recipes of 1924, we're going to be making the crab and red pepper sandwich. So to make our filling, it's pretty straightforward. Crab meat, diced up red pepper, and mayonnaise. Fun fact, mayonnaise was first sold commercially in the United States in uh, 1907. Now we put that onto buttered bread, because why not? Okay, let's give this crab meat and red pepper sandwich a go. Nothing wrong here. It tastes great. I love crab. Crab goes well with mayonnaise. The red peppers bring a little sweetness, a little crunch. It is lacking a little seasoning and a little depth, so I do want to plus it up just a little bit. I'm going to add a little of this Bobby's Boat Dust. This stuff has sea salt, organic tomato powder, chili powder, granulated garlic, granulated onion, ginger, fermented rice extract, cornstarch, shiitake extract, kombu extract, turmeric, black pepper, and lime juice powder. And because I'm feeling a little extra, some crumbled bacon. Okay, let's give this crab meat and red pepper sandwich plus up with Bobby's boat dust and some crumbled bacon. A go. I don't know what bacon is bringing to the party, but uh, the Bobby's boat dust is bringing a nice savoriness, plus a little pop because it's got a little lime juice extract in it. It's really delicious and it's going really well with everything in here. All right, before we get into it, I have to admit, yes, bacon is a cheat code and I don't use it too often because it could really plus up just about every sandwich. But I figured we already had a meat crab in here, so why not? Uh, and it brought a nice smoky character to the sandwich, combined with that Bobby's Boat dust that had all those savory elements, but also a little brightness from the lime juice. Oh, so good. I think the original, though, was quite tasty. I'm going to give that a 7. Plus up with the Bobby's Boat dust and the bacon, I'm going to give that probably about an 8, 8.5. That is delicious. I am definitely going to finish that, and I would eat either one, but especially the plus up one, any day. All right, see you tomorrow. And yes, if you stare at my shirt long enough, you will see dolphins swimming in the ocean. If you don't get that reference, ask anyone who went to a mall in the 90s.